Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I want to welcome you back to another edition of Understanding MTHFR and Methylation. This is lesson number eight, and I know we're moving along because this board is getting dirtier and dirtier. Um, but basically what I wanted to tell you about is the big goal of this methylation cycle. Is As we've mentioned in prior videos, it's all about methylation. It's all about the CH3 group. It's about making and breaking things. If we're stressed out, then it's about these cycles spinning faster and causing an exposure of our weak links and the two-lane and the four-lane highways. But it's not only about two-lane and four-lane highways about having cofactors and having car accidents in the middle of those highways. But ultimately, the ultimate goal is to produce something called SAMe. And SAMe is the biggest methyl donor in the body. And we're almost at SAMe. We have to go from methionine in order to make SAMe. And in our last lesson, we just got to methionine. So now it's about SAMe. So SAMe is the second most um, energy producing element in our body or substrate in the body. So it, um, it gives its methyl group to everyone. So it says here, take this, take this, take this, it gives its methyl group to people and allows it to function, uh, allows us to make energy and detoxify and feel better and not have brain fog and I don't have joint pain and be able to sleep and not be anxious and fight off an infection. SAMI is that important. And SAMI goes through one last gene from methionine to get to SAMI through the MAT gene. And the MAT gene is, I think, is almost equally as important as the MTHFR gene. And no one knows about it. And I see MAT being positive, positive more times than not. And what that means is methionine has a huge problem in order to make SAMI. It has a two-lane highway. But the thing about MAT is it has cofactor deficiencies as well. It requires magnesium and ATP. So a lot of people take magnesium, but ATP, tell me about that. That's generation of energy. And if this whole methylation cycle is not working properly, then our Krebs cycle is not working properly, our oxidative phosphorylation is not working properly, our mitochondria is not working properly, and our ATP shuts down. And therefore, we get this negative cycle of methylation is slowing down, ATP generation is slowing down, causing methylation to slow down, causing ATP generation to slow down. So it just negatively reinforces each other. Um, the other problem about MAT is it has cofactors, or sorry, um, car accidents or inhibitors, things like lipopolysaccharides, bacteria overgrowth, leaky gut, food reactivities, interleukin-6 um, and TNF-alpha. Those are infections. So if we have bugs, which most of us do because we live in this toxic environment, um, then that's going to shut this gene down even further. And so we can test SAMe by looking through a methylation profile. I'll do a lot of tests where I look at methionine, SAMe, SAMSA ratios, CBS or homocysteine, cystathionine. That's an advanced strategy, but that's a test where I can actually see not just how great you're making uh, energy based on your DNA test, but basically where your slowdowns are and where the blockages are in real time. That's called a methylation profile. And that's what SAMI is basically um, telling us is, is that is SAMI low, is SAMI high, um, is there a high ratio of SAMI to SA, which we'll explain in our next lesson. We got basically one more lesson that we're going to explain because a lot of this just gets too overwhelming. And once we get into genes and once we get into hormones and DNA and, and into neurotransmitters, we already have our work cut out for us here before we would go into these other things. So. Um, I hope you enjoyed this edition. Uh, it's getting tougher and tougher, but basically to summarize, the whole goal of methylation is to make SAMI. So SAMI can give its methyl group to other people and be used as a cofactor for over 250 cellular reactivities. Um, MAT is a very important gene that converts methionine into SAMe, and if that's not working very well, then you are going to have a shutdown of your energy production, and you're more than likely going to express an autoimmunity and have a chronic problem. Hopefully you enjoyed this edition of Understanding MTHFR and Methylation. I look forward to helping you in your chronic health problem. Thank you so much.